a knife. Sunday morning, about to get it. Got the morning LaCroix going, obviously, for the culture. And about to go on a nice little run. These things are hella old, but they've held up nicely. Nike Flyknit trainers, the most comfortable shoes I ever owned. Nike, if you're watching, send me more. I'm back from the run. And I went about two miles. I was basically just sat in my room all morning depressed because I quit my job. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next, so I gotta figure that part out. And I uh, just didn't have the motivation, so I forced myself to get up off the bed. Mapped a route on Google Maps. Doesn't have a lot of intersections. And just was like, two miles, let's do that. Set a goal. Ran one mile, stopped, stretched, ran back, and then like only ran like 0.8 of the way back and then I walked for 0.1 and then ran out the last 0.1 but honestly it's like all about what I have to do is like force myself to get up and work out because like if I'm ever sad or depressed it's normally like I'll think about when was the last time I did physical activity and then like, it'll strangely line up with that so I don't know I'm just trying to motivate myself basically through this camera right now to keep doing stuff keep searching keep pushing keep working out because I think running is better than any Lexapro or Prozac if you're a little sad. I mean, it definitely helps. If you're clinically depressed and you went to the doctor, you take your drugs, of course, but I think I think supplementing with exercise is a good call. Plus, when you get back, the LaCroix tastes like 10 times better. So now I gotta stretch, shower, get my day started. So apparently I put these LaCroix too close to where the cold air blows out to keep the fridge cold. And they froze in my fridge and burst open. This one just, I don't know where the rest of the LaCroix went. I gotta search the entire fridge. Rest in peace, man, damn. <clears throat> Wait, now I'm curious that if you freeze a LaCroix, when it unfreezes, is it still carbonated? I don't think so. But I never froze LaCroix before, so I'm about to check it out. Um, I'm gonna put it in the Star Wars cup and then come back. Shout out Lord Vader. Here we go. Let me set this up. Ooh. That's one frozen ass LaCroix right there. If you could see that, and then in the cup, right here, and then we'll come back and check on it. I'm doing science now all of a sudden on the channel. It's kind of melted right now. I can't really tell. I'm going to drink it. Nope. Carbonation gone. Rest in peace, carbonation. Flavor's still there though, so. Probably one of the hardest parts of like vlogging is uh, walking around with a camera on you like some kind of freaking psychopath, like right now. But you just gotta be like, fuck it, I'm doing this. Oh, the second hardest part of it is also like having a comment section on your life. <laughs> like, you're bearing your soul to the world and people are like, lame, you're gay. So those are the two hardest parts of vlogging, but just gotta keep going, keep trying to do it, cause uh, I don't know, just seeing what's up. But right now I'm headed to uh, grab an iced coffee and I'm about to reply to every single YouTube comment I've ever gotten because Adam told me to do that and I listen to Adam because he's got a bigger channel than me. So, you know, if you got someone who's got good advice, you should probably take it if they're successful with it. Coffee and like cold brew, cold brew especially is like, to me, it's something that makes life like not miserable for three hour periods. <sighs> All right, so update right now. Finished the cold brew. Homegirl just came through, dropped off the cookie dough cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. I went to Cheesecake, he was a motherfucking waiter there. Then she dropped off the lemon meringue cheesecake because we're meringue boys. 
Also, LaCroix on deck, and I'm off the cold brew replying to every single YouTube comment I've ever received because Adam told me to do that shit, and I'm doing what he says. Um, me and Deansy going downtown. Things will be great when you're downtown. Chug a LaCroix when you're downtown. What song is this? Rihanna. Love that shit, dude. Rihanna, hit me up. to get hit with the vlog. Steady cam. Walking right in. Boom. Hey! It smells really, oh my god. It's so, it's so I'm vlogging now, I'm vlogging now. Everyone's getting vlogged. You guys, this is Natasha. Oh, what, a, what an intro. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't say much, but she's cute. <laughs> Here, this is for you. I haven't seen him in like three oh. years. Oh my god, yes! Boom. Hey. Oh, yeah. Should I wear it You can wear it whenever. You guys have kind of like a nice all white vibe going on. Yeah, I should like go change. I'm too goth for this. No, no, it's chill. Why? Fine. Wait, why yeah. does it smell like uh, hippies in here? Because I burned this like Palo Santo. It's called Hollywood. Oh, wait. Where are your candles? Where are your candles? It's just a, oh, it's it's just a stick of wood. You don't have your bougie candles out? No, I don't have any got food. Damn. I was excited to show everybody your eight hundred. Eight hundred dollar. No, don't worry about it. Just like a social experiment. <laughs> Anyways, this is Gabby's lavish loft. Probably pretty intrusive right now, but <laughs> nice views. Hey. hey man. Cheers. I got, I got a sip of white wine left. That's beer. I poured it in. Oh, are you selfieing right now or on me? <laughs> Is uh, yeah, you're right. All right, quick update to what's going on right now. We've been trying to decide what to order for dinner. The lighting's fucked up in here, by the way what to order for dinner for about 30 minutes because Gabby's indecisive. I blame Gabby. <laughs> she can't figure it out. Read it out loud. So what we're doing right now is we're ordering dinner. Really exciting stuff. Did you eat with the crossbow? No. Yo, so right now we're going to Bestia, one of the oh, most premier restaurants in Los Angeles. Top-notch food. I definitely shouldn't. It's on Gold's list. It's what? It's on Jonathan Gold's list. Do you know about whoever Jonathan Gold is? That's tight. So we're about to get some delicious food. Shouldn't be doing it because I'm unemployed, but you know, YOLO. You only live once, so eat good food once. Uh, I wouldn't do that. What? Here in LA, we really respect the don't walk sign. <laughs> Just, there's like trucks for Tasha. Natasha! Natasha! You're right. You're right. <laughs> you kicked out? It's like saw. It's like saw. Yeah, like something's gonna jump down. We just need to turn that light on. It's just like... 
the size of this elevator. This 18 foot by 18 foot basketball court elevator. Look at the door! Get out! Oh, jeez. Okay, Bestia has been procured. This is some pizza with some shit on it. This is Branzino. Ooh, that's a, that's a fish ass fish with the eyeball still in it. This is some salad. What is this? Hey, what's a. Uh... Oh, this is the pasta, I think. This is cheese fries. Salad. More of that shit. Alright, we're gonna get it. Alright, guys, we just finished dinner. We're extremely off the bestia. We're extremely off the high end. You know where the camera is? You get it? Do you not see the camera? Do you not see? What kind is this actually? Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter. Amara. So after like a traditional thing that we do here is like after like a good meal, we have dessert. <laughs> we got Justin's. <laughs> we got Justin's in the crib. Deansy. Yeah. <laughs> People love being vlogged. But anyways, no, the camera loves Gabby though. Look at that. This is a great angle. <laughs> Alright, should I get a better one? <laughs> And we're eating that chocolate. Hit us up in the comments with what kind of chocolate is your favorite. <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk about chocolates. Gay again, a gay pick. So right now we're looking on Raya cruising for hot guys. Raya? No, it's Dean, Raya. it's Raya, right? I don't know. You told me, didn't you know it's Raya? No, I was joking. Ah. <laughs> in and out and an Oscar. We're cruising for hot ass dudes on Raya. Luxon. <laughs> <laughs> Man's name is Luxon. Okay, so Natasha right now is making us listen to a British rapper. She's actually a poet. Oh, it's a girl? Yeah, yeah it's a girl. It's a British poet. Kate Tempest, she's a poet. Cool. And Gabby and Dean are canoodling. Could. If you guys think they'd be a good power couple, leave it a reply in the comments. Wait. Oh, yeah. Babe, can you please play that song by Sade, which is the remix that we were listening to in the apartment in Notting Hill when you were there last year? Flat? Yeah. The earth is disgusting right now. When she escapes from her Harambe enclosure. <laughs> Oh, we got this big ass elevator. Okay. How far away are we right now? Seven feet. Easily. This is actually the elevator that they used to transport Harambe before they murdered him. It's fucked up, but true. <laughs> 